So to tie in what we said in the last example about heat transfer and then raising in temperature, I want to relate a little further how this meshes with how we understood conservation of energy. Within an isolated system, right, when we talk about the conservation of energy, we mean that if there's no energy escaping out the uh, boundaries, we can keep track of these things called kinetic energy and potential energy. And that amount of energy should remain constant because things don't appear or disappear. If you want to change it, you have to probably do some kind of work or specifically non-conservative work into or out of the system, right? And part of that work we used to cast as the work done by friction will give you some change in thermal energy. But we're changing the picture a little bit slightly. We're going to include the thermal energy as part of the energy we track within our system. So then we have a new term for this thing. We call that Q, give you more thermal energy. And we make the distinction between this all kinds of energy that's in the system that we're tracking versus these more mechanical kind of energy associated with movement. You can still do work and have it escape, and you can also have heat transfer to the surroundings as well. So in this case, our young man here does a bunch of work. If we keep all the heat in as an increase in thermal energy, that'll raise the temperature of this particular gentleman up. And of course, to find out how much temperature increases, we once again make use of our specific heat. So the calculation is actually quite straightforward. Uh, we of course want to convert our kilocalories into joules and solving for delta T, we're transferring that much heat into the body. The body has a certain amount of mass. And then you can also look up the specific heat for the human body, which is fairly close to water as we are mostly made of water. And we fairly quickly end up getting 0 0.14 degrees Celsius. Not a whole lot because you're just doing 20 push up in one minute, but many of the body's processes depend on being at a specific temperature. So the body has various way to lose this heat to the outside, to the surrounding in order to maintain this temperature. And we'll see some of those mechanism towards the end of the chapter.